In this short video, I will explain the core concepts of AWS IoT rule engine. Let's start with a simulated device. That device sends an MQTT message to a given MQTT topic. The connection is managed by AWS IoT Core MQTT broker. Rule engine is one of features provided by AWS IoT Core. A rule monitors a specified MQTT topic and verifies if topic and the message that arrived to that topic matches defined criteria. If that's true, it invokes an action. For instance, that might be a time stream action. Every action we've got IAM role attached to it because we need to allow AWS IoT to communicate with other AWS services. And we manage that using roles with IAM policies. In this example, IAM policy allows AWS IoT to insert records into TimeStream database. What is very important is that a single rule can invoke a number of different actions. For instance, it can trigger a Lambda function and provide the MQTT message payload as an input, so you can execute any business logic within that Lambda function. At the same time, we can insert that message to a queue to process it using some different application. Those are just examples. You can use a number of different IoT rule actions to build serverless backend for your IoT system. This way, you can process MQTT messages on flight, invoke various actions without worrying about underlying infrastructure. In my opinion, AWS IoT Rule Engine is a very powerful tool you should use during your design and implementation of any IoT solution. Let me know if you've got any questions about this topic. I'm Łukasz Malinowski, the Internet of Things Advisor and Trainer.